In this lesson, I want to teach you how to make an opening or ending slide with a nice batch in the middle. We will design this batch from scratch, including the background and the actual object in the middle. To start things off, take any photograph you'd like for the background. I have here some football photograph, so I'll just grab it and place it here in the background. Now we want a very strong color overlay over it. We will use our simple trick by going to insert shapes and inserting a big rectangle over it. We will select shape outline no outline and we will go for our golden fill color. We will select the gold if you don't have this color 255, 208 and 37. Okay now I'll right click and format shape and make it just a little bit transparent just so the photograph is barely visible like 15% this will be all right. Now we can start to design our badge. We will start the badge off with stars and banners. We will select something that has 16 or maybe even 24. I'll go for 16. Now I'll use it in the middle. I make the corners a bit smaller like this. Okay. And to make sure it's in the middle, I take it align center and align middle. Now we have the outline for our badge. So I'll select shape fill no fill but I'll leave the outline. The outline will be something lighter not too dark but blue light blue. Okay now I copy this shape I try to place it perfectly where it was and now watch how you can make it smaller. If I make it smaller by holding the shift key it will remain perfect proportions. If I additionally hold the control key it will go towards the middle. And if you don't want it to snap, you even have to use the ALT key. So SHIFT and CONTROL and even ALT and make it smaller. Now we'll fill this out. The second batch will have a strong color. I'll use the blue we had previously. So this will be CUSTOM 46, 58, 70. This is the base for our batch and the rest depends really on us. I'll insert a text box and I'll say thanks for watching. I press enter here, enter here. I make the text centered, bolder, open sense and of course white because I want it to be strongly visible here. Maybe a bit bigger. Okay, the four text can be so it isn't so cut out here. Maybe the thanks even as well will be a bit bigger. Now it has a really nice symmetry. If this will be too big, we can simply make it smaller. Now I want to do something else. I'll insert shapes. Please go to shapes and insert a circle. I'll try to make a circle around it here. Okay, once again, align center, align middle, because I want it to be perfectly in the middle. And now no fill. I would like it to have some dashes and be around this design. How to achieve this? It's actually really simple. At first, let me up the width a bit. Here we have dash type. And instead of a solid line, we can use some dashes. I'll come closer to show you the dashes. You see, they don't seem very nice. So I can, of course, change the cap type to round. This looks much, much better. But still, the color isn't all right. We should use something gray. So by clicking on the shape outline, Please select something that will work with this background. I see this dark looks pretty nice. This gray looks also pretty nice. Well, this blue, it isn't perfect, but I guess we could use something like this. Let me adjust it by going to more outline colors and make it a bit lighter. Okay, so it's a bit more visible. Now, if you want this design to be a bit more interesting, you control C, control V it place it in the same position and make it bigger. Control C, Control V, same position, the shift and control key and make it even bigger. Now you can, for example, change the dash type to, to be normal back again. Maybe this as well. Let's see what we got here. Okay, like that. This a bit bigger. Uh, will I be able to select them? It will be really hard now. Okay, there will be like an outline here, closer to the edges. 
it's too big, a bit smaller. And I see this color is a bit too intensive now, so I want to change this color. Okay, yeah, yeah, so something closer to the background. Maybe even a dark one like that. Okay, even smaller. I really have to adjust this a lot, but that's usually how it works. I see this middle circle. Well, it's a trouble to select it now, but if you want to have no problems, you go to home, select, and you open up the selection pane. Newer versions of PowerPoint have the selection pane and it's really easier to grab things if you use it. Maybe this should be also here on the near the edges. We have prepared our badge. We still have some space here and here. We could put another object like like some stars or some circles. If we go for circles, let's let's stay with let's stick with them. Okay. A simple circle without any outline and with a color. It should be the same color. Circle here, circle here, maybe a smaller one, and circle here. Let's say I am perfectly precise here. In the middle, I copy it over on the bottom. Let's say this looks good. If it doesn't, you can always go edit shape, change shape, and change the shape, for example, to start like that. And as I watch it now, I think this perhaps looks a bit better. Okay, maybe the one, this ones will be a bit bigger. Left, oh, sorry, sorry, left, right. And now I'm satisfied with the design. I could also make some shadow just so it isn't so boring and plain. You could also reverse the colors by making the background very dark and this star here yellow. This would also look very interesting. 